Welcome to the Rwanda Medical Academy. How often do we ponder the profound impact of myocardial infarction on our global health landscape? This cardiovascular event, commonly known as a heart attack, is a medical emergency that requires swift and precise intervention. One such strategy that has proven pivotal in managing the initial stages of a heart attack is the Monum Mnemonic. This acronym helps healthcare professionals remember key interventions that could mean the difference between life and death. Let's begin with M for morphine. This potent analgesic is administered to alleviate the intense pain and anxiety associated with a heart attack. By dilating blood vessels, morphine reduces the workload on the heart, thereby enhancing blood flow to the heart muscle. Next, we have O for oxygen. In the throes of a myocardial infarction, the heart can be compromised. Supplemental oxygen is provided to ensure tissues receive adequate oxygenation. This intervention helps mitigate symptoms of hypoxemia and further reduces the workload on the heart by increasing oxygen delivery to the myocardium. The N in MONA stands for nitroglycerin. This vasodilator is the key to improving blood flow to the heart by dilating coronary arteries. In addition to relieving chest pain or angina, nitroglycerin reduces preload and afterload on the heart subsequently decreasing myocardial oxygen demand. Finally, the A represents aspirin. Administered as promptly as possible during the acute phase of a heart attack, aspirin inhibits platelet aggregation. This action prevents further thrombus formation and reduces the risk of clotting in coronary arteries, which can exacerbate myocardial ischemia. Now, MONA is not just an acronym to remember, but a protocol to implement. It begins with quickly recognizing the signs and symptoms of a heart attack, from chest pain to shortness of breath, nausea, and diaphoresis. A detailed medical history and physical exam help confirm the diagnosis. Once myocardial infarction is suspected or confirmed, MONA interventions must be promptly initiated, with medications administered as per established guidelines, always considering patient-specific factors. Continuous monitoring of vital signs oxygen saturation, and electrocardiogram changes is crucial, followed by reassessment of the patient's response to treatment. Interventions may need to be adjusted based on ongoing evaluation and clinical status. In conclusion, the MONA mnemonic forms a cornerstone of myocardial infarction management. However, it is important to remember that managing a heart attack extends beyond MONA and includes reperfusion therapy and secondary prevention measures. The keys to optimizing patient outcomes lie in timely recognition of symptoms, effective communication, and collaborative teamwork. Remember, a heart attack waits for no one, and neither should we. Thank you.